Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Farmsburg, Indiana with Craig Hendry. You know, one of the biggest morons on YouTube, as he is apparently misidentified as a suspect in another case and detained. Uh, well, he calls it arrested, but, you know, they let him go, so he was more or less detained. But you know what? He's just going to complain about every little thing anyway. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Go in and get Grandpa right now. What's up, dude? What's your name? I'm not answering that question. And therein lies the biggest problem with this uh, encounter right here is your staunch refusal to identify yourself because you believe it's a Fourth Amendment violation. And, of course, you'll rant later on that Americans should never identify themselves to the police or anything body else or th anything like that which of course uh how are you gonna uh, do anything at all if you can't identify yourself but i digress but overall if you would have just showed them your id or let them know who you are they would have probably just walked away and said to hell with it okay. do you have identification on you no okay Nate, Nate, go get your grandpa now. Run. Run and get grandpa now. Uh, need you to identify yourself. I'm not going to. Okay, go ahead and turn around for me. Dad! Come here. It's the police. No, I don't want you phone. taking it. I don't want you taking my phone. There, so I don't want you okay, touching my phone. I'm not going to touch it. That's fine. Nathan, go with Grandpa. Dad, get him out of here. Please, please. Sorry for my tone. No, get away from... What are you... Get me out of handcuffs now! Get me out of handcuffs! And my, get me out of handcuffs! My name is not William. Well, gee, you're not William. How could they have known that? Oh, let me see. This is quite the little predicament right here. Uh, uh, it wouldn't... Uh, a piece of uh, plastic have helped in this particular situation. Something that could identify who you were. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, don't they issue those somewhere? I, I forgot where. But maybe that could have prevented this whole situation right here. Yeah. Maybe it's just that you are a complete dumbass to begin with. Get me out of here. He just asked my dad if my name was William. When my dad said no, he said he had already asked me that, which upon reviewing the footage, I realized was a complete lie. I don't care if I ask you. Get me out of here. What are you doing? Get out of my parents' house. I don't care. I don't me. Hey, you and we were get out of my grandparents' house now. Get out of here. The hell is wrong with you, sir? You Americans don't have to identify themselves. Oh, that's a nice little overgeneralization right there, otherwise known as a blanket statement or hasty generalization fallacy. Just because there are cases of you in life where you don't have to identify yourself doesn't mean there are situations where identifying yourself would be the prudent thing to do, such as in this case right here, because you identifying yourself could have, well, Resolve the situation fairly quickly, but considering you're a frauditor, this will get you clicks and views anyway, so yeah, I understand, but you're still uh, making yourself look like a total ignoramus in the process, but that's just you, Craig. You're just a special kind of stupid. Yes, sir. We were called to the area get for a one person. Get out of my house. Get out of my, get out of this property. Okay. I don't care. You're trash You're trash passing now. Get off of here. Get sir, off can of can here. I speak with you real quick, please? We can, yes. Okay. We were called to the area for one person. He met the description for the one person. I asked him to identify himself. He refused. So that's what I I asked him to turn around. You have no reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. That is a violation of my Fifth and Fourth Amendment right. And I'm going to tell you something. You guys know who the hell I am. 
You I know no, who I, I am, no Frog Shower. I know. I have no clue who you're you are. Like, I know who you are. I have no clue who you are. You get out of this yard now. I'm not interested in having a conversation with you. Okay. Get out of here. I can appreciate that, Sergeant Fro Shower. And what's your name? Officer Abrams. Abrams. Okay. Now get going. Now. All right. Sorry for the confusion. Appreciate it. Right. Appreciate your cooperation. You have okay. a good day. All right. You're, you guys are thugs. You know that. I'm so. I'm bad. Projection, much, dude? Uh, because you're the one who has a long list of convictions under his belt, and you've got three upcoming felony charges, if I recall right. So yeah, who is the criminal thug around here? It certainly isn't them, because well, they weren't charged with felony stalking. You were. I'm not gonna. These guys know what they're doing. They're trying to bully me. They're trying to traumatize me. Okay. Have a good day. Abrams, you don't know who I am? Okay. You don't know who I am? No, sir, I do not. I'm not from this area. I have no idea who you are. You're a farmer's bird cop? Learn who I am. And go to the next town council meeting. So there's a few things I would like to unpack here. First of all, I don't know if they got a phone call about a man with a warrant. I do know that me fitting the description of another individual in the town of Farmersburg is highly unlikely, as is the police not knowing my name, seeing as I grew up in this small town, and it is an extremely small place. Also, hey, dumbass. Uh, yeah, that's another overgeneralization right there. I mean, you can live in a small town and not know everybody there if the small town had only a few hundred people yeah i can understand that they might be able to know you but farmersburg has a population of just over a thousand so i am sure that the police don't know everybody there especially if they're not from the area so get your head straight and actually do some logical thinking for once when was the last time you heard the cops say, is that William? Oh, no, it ain't. Okay, let him go. No need to confirm that. You know, I don't know exactly what did happen in this incident, but I know it is strange that this happened a week or so after I was charged maliciously and unlawfully with felony stalking charges by the state of Indiana. Hey, Craig, you're not exactly a law scholar, dude. Uh, it The courts are the ones who decide uh, if the arrest and the uh, charges were unlawful. But considering your past, I could see how you could end up with uh, felony charges of stalking. I mean, you are that type of person. But let's carry on, shall we? I mean, I would love to hear more of your uh, psychotic delusional rants. With the complainant being a public employee, all right, the message that this might have just been intending to send might have been that they can get to me no matter if my family's here or not. Yeah, really, dude. Uh, I don't think you're all that important in the grand scheme of things. You really, you're just hyping yourself up uh, more than uh, you're actually worth. I mean, you're probably not even worth a grain of sand to a lot of people in uh, reality, dude. I mean, you are just a little punk from a small town who thinks he's a big shot, but he's really nothing. I mean, that's just the fact of life right there, dude. You've done nothing in your life to prove that you're worth more than that. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?